Hi friends, today I discuss distance time graph. Now the change, what is distance? Change in position of an object with time. Now the distance is change in position with time which is earlier discussed in previous video. So now the position of an object with time to represent on the distance time graph adopting a convenient scale adopting the convenient scale of choice. So I draw some graph this graph and in graph distance is taken along y axis and time is taken along x axis time in minute and distance in kilometer now specify some numbers this is 10 20 30 and 40 now in x axis this is 20 seconds sorry this is 10 seconds this is 20 this is 30 this is 40 this is 50 and this is 60 now I draw a graph now if I talk about uniform motion talk about uniform motion uniform motion means equal distance in equal time interval equal distance in equal time interval or I can say with uniform speed this means distance traveled distance traveled is directly proportional to time taken directly proportional to time taken which is a straight line which is a straight line so the graph is this so this is the graph of uniform motion uniform motion now I discuss about non-uniform motion non-uniform motion in non-uniform motion object travel unequal distance unequal distance in equal time interval in equal time interval so I can say this this graph is not a straight line this is something more curved graph so I draw non-uniform motion graph to like this to like this some curved graph some curved graph so this is the non-uniform motion non-uniform motion or we can say speed is variable or velocity is variable in uniform motion speed is or velocity is constant velocity is constant now I discuss both type of motion uniform motion and non-uniform motion by 
distance time graph i also find speed of motion how can i find speed of motion by this graph so i take i take a sort of span like as this if i take this point h a and this point h b this point is a this point is b so draw a parallel line with ab parallel line with ab or we can say draw perpendicular from point a on x axis and point b on x axis and also on y axis from point a and from point b so this is the or this span represents the time interval time interval 30h t1 and 50h t2 and again on y axis this is the distance travel distance traveled so i also say that this is one this is s1 and this is s2 so the speed h speed v equal to distance travels s2 minus s1 upon t2 minus t1 which is equal to s2 40 minus 30 upon time 50 minus 30 which is equal to 10 upon 20.5 kilometer per minute. So I also find the speed of particular motion by distance time graph. So I hope you understand what is the distance time graph, what is the use of distance time graph, how I find speed with this graph so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video